Hello everybody and welcome back to Green River. Now at the end of the previous episode, Chainsaw actually continued and bailed this whole field. This was an oat field. And as you can see, we do have our fair share of bales. So we're going to have a bit of a challenge to begin with. Picking these up and putting them in storage. Luckily, the storage place is just here at the side of the same field. So we couldn't really have it in a better place. It's going to be really good. So really, there's no carting involved at all, except for through the field. Um, so I'm going to just grab a tractor, something which is suitable, I think maybe this one here. I have used the International before, and it has worked well. So we'll stick that onto the auto stacker, which is currently in the bell shed, so it needs to move anyway. And then, yeah, we're going to get all of them moved. So will it fill it? That's the question. Will these be enough bales to fill the bale shed? I doubt it. I, I don't know. Uh, we can take a look and see how many more we can fit in. But I don't think we're going to have enough here. Having said that, there are plenty here. There are so many. Let's just find out. Let's just see. Uh, now, how do we actually enter this? We have to open the menu. There we go. Um, so the capacity is 420. We currently have 199. Hmm. I would say it's going to be close, but I don't think we're going to do it. We'll soon find out. Anyway, into the operating position. Oh, the time is still at 120. There we go. Put it in real time. Yeah, the thing is, it looks like there's loads, but if you put them all together in a shed, that's when it wouldn't look as impressive. So, I don't know, if you want to try and guess a number, please do. Add it on top of the existing 199. I think we'll probably finish off with 380. That would be my guess. If anything else, I'd say a bit less. Down to 350. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Chainsaw is just over there. I'm not too sure if there's going to be enough space on his to pick up the final ones, but that is 16 more from me. Um, yes, and it's definitely not looking very full. So, going back to the point I made before, when they're all spread out, it looks like there's loads, but actually, there's, there's probably only about 80. There probably wasn't that many at all. Okay, so, does he have space? I think he does, possibly. Although, hmm, maybe not. Let's just see. I would say he has, yeah, space for those two, but not space for this one here. So there's just one left. Yep, okay, good. So I have one. Uh, we do also have a grass bell here. I would imagine we're probably going to pick that up and put it into the cow's trough. It's not ready for the straw bale storage point. So, yeah, that was worth it. Look at my one bale. It teleported to the back. Yes, not really necessary for a, an auto sacker. So let's find out how many bales we actually do have in total. Bear in mind we had 199 before we started. This will be interesting. Yes, I must make a point of not tipping it right back before I'm in the right place. It, it makes it very difficult to reverse. But there we go. Okay, so... How many did we have in the field? We now have 312. Which means we had 113. Pretty good. So yeah, we do have space for 108, is it? 108 more bells? Anyway, yeah, good. That means that we do still have another entire field's worth to put into there eventually. 
Now as Chainsaw just suggested, we are going to put some digestate on the field from the BGA. We did sell all of that silage, uh, so that's obviously had a byproduct of digestate. So we might as well use it. Now I don't know actually how many spreaders we have. We might not even have any. We might have to get some. So, yep, that can go there. Detach the tractor, otherwise it's going to be sticking out quite a bit. Um, would this tractor be suitable? I don't think we'd have enough horsepower. Now, I think this would be a good one. The Integral. Um, it's all in one, so... I think if we use these... We will buy that. Uh, we could actually buy two. We have so much money. We might as well buy them. Yeah, that's going to be a bit too big for this tractor, so if I go and jump into a more appropriate tractor... Although, thinking about it, we don't really have anything else which is... Because it needs to be speedy, because we're carting from the BGA. Maybe I should replace one of our tractors. Hmm. Maybe we could buy a new tractor, but I don't really want to keep adding... That's annoying. That's actually quite frustrating. <laughs> um, yeah. Chainsaw's got a pretty good one there. We don't really have another one suitable. Well, it's been a long time since I've used the brand which I absolutely love, so we're going to use it today. It is only leased, so this isn't ours yet, but we might replace the John Deere 6M with one. Possibly. I'm not saying we are. Just a possibility. So that is a pretty good setup. Look at that. The other thing is, we actually do have the, uh, the 6M anyway, as I just mentioned, and there is now a mod which allows you to fit a three-point linkage to the front of it, so that could be quite useful if we don't get rid of it. Um, because without the front linkage and without a front weight, it makes the front of the tractor kind of useless. Because um, it's not, you can't counterbalance it, and you can't put an attachment on it. So, yeah, it's a good mod. It's by Peppy, I think the uh, the modder is called. Now, had I known that we were going to be using a Massey Ferguson today, I would have downloaded the 8740, which is of course now the largest Massey Ferguson. Um, available in Europe, um, unless there's one which I'm not aware of, but yes, this is the 8737 because the Ford wasn't out at the time. But like I say, it's just leased, so if we are going to have a Massey Ferguson on the farm, which I would love to have, then I will I'll download that, but I think I'm going to save that until the Sandy Bay series because that is a series which I'm going to be, you know, obsessed with because <laughs> I love that map so much. So I'm going to be definitely using the machinery which I want to have on there. Obviously, taking some of the uh, suggestions from the comment section as well. I actually already have done a, a sort of, I guess you could call it a vote, but a suggestion suggestion thing on the last video of Shamrock Valley. So I'm going to definitely have some of the uh, recommended ones or the suggested ones. But I really do want to have a Matthew Ferguson, so we'll probably have an 8740. Ooh, creepy. The, the conveyor's moving on its own. Oh no, wait, the chainsaw is inside it. So where is the foot? Oh, it's over there. Well, I'll let Chainsaw go first because he was here first. But I think that is our sight glass, isn't it? To see how much is in it. Is that a sight glass? I can't tell. I can't tell. But uh, we're soon going to find out how much we have. It should be a lot. <laughs> we should have loads. Is it possible to fill up at the same time? Uh, maybe if I'm... I don't know, that might be stealing it from Chainsaw. Hang on, I think I am. I, <laughs> I don't know. It might be stealing it from Chainsaws. That would be uh, amusing. Okay, I think he's almost full. Let's just find out. Yep. So, it takes about a minute, I would say, to fill. And how do we do this? Hmm, I was actually managing to fill it before. Yes, I would say I was definitely taking it out of chainsaws before because it's actually asking me to request this now. Um, but we have almost half a million litres. I think. Very impressive. It did say something about 80,000 80, or 80, 800,000, not too sure. But um, yeah. All we need to know is we have loads. An inex inexhaustible supply, pretty much. Let's go. 30,000 litres. It's not a bad setup. 
Okay, so here we are. I've just crashed into Chainsaw. And, um, yeah, it's probably almost time that we bought a new field. With all our money. Is that working? Hang on, is that working? Now, I know we, we do kind of have a new field because we, we did this field down here. We converted it in the previous episode. Um, where we used the very large, unrealistic machine. Yeah, that is working. Uh, and, yeah, it went down pretty well. Except for, well, I did see one comment, actually. Don't really want to give these kind of people attention, but it's it's just annoying when you when you read some of these comments. Like, um, it said, Dagwin is once again ruining the series by using an unrealistic size machine. But I already explained at the beginning of the episode the reason why we were using an unrealistic size machine. It was so that we could convert the field, and then we were going to use the, the realistic size machinery to drill it, otherwise it would have taken far too long. But I don't know, I don't know if uh, some viewers watch without the sound on. Wow, it's so much easier seeing it from that view. It's impressive. Now, yes, if anybody hasn't seen the Sandy Bay video from yesterday, I do recommend watching it if you want to see something incredible. That map is just... <laughs> it feels like you're playing a different game. It is like FS21. The things that Oxygen David has done. It's so impressive. But yeah, I posted that yesterday. It's a first hit video. I do recommend watching it. And I'll be starting my Let's Play on that uh, whenever Oxygen David is ready for me to do that. I think it's a few weeks away from what I can gather. So when we do start a Let's Play though, it's going to be a realistic Let's Play. Um, I always call it semi-realistic because otherwise I get complaints. But you know what I mean. A realistic Let's Play as realistic as it is possible to be with my knowledge and with the game restrictions and stuff okay so we're doing well it does pump it out pretty fast I can't even begin to imagine how long this would take with one of those really small uh, slurry spreaders it must take forever but with these it's a different story especially with two of them I would imagine it's going to be two loads each, which is going to be just right. Three percent left. I'm surprised Chainsaw isn't empty because he started before me. There we go. Right, let's fold up and we'll head off. Yes, that bale is in the way. I'll have to give it a push when we get back. Okay, yep, yeah, back to the BGA and we'll fill up. I can see it happening now. I reckon Chainsaw's going to pull alongside like I did and it's going to say start overloading or whatever it says and then it's going to empty mine. <laughs> I can imagine it happening. I did find it easier to fill up from this angle. go. Nope, he's joined the queue. Yeah, so we need to push that bail. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Just wondering where he went to, he was not too far behind. He might have gone through the yard. Yep, yeah, he did, there he is. Okay, here it is, the bale. We should have moved it, but the thing is it was the wrong type of bale. I think he would have still stored it. The shed wouldn't have had a problem with it. But it's just pointless really. Storing one random bale. So I've gone up to here. Mostly because that's where I ran out. But uh, yeah, because Chainsaw's going across. Don't want to overlap too much. Like I am doing now. Uh, so yeah, the next job. I don't know what we're going to do. But I do know that this field needs to be re-drilled. 
So we'll probably redrill it, especially as we've now put the fertilizer on. Right, bit of neatening up required, I think, here. It is going to leave a small section, but I think that's all done. We'll check the map in a minute. We'll check the mini-map. That is done up to there. Okay. Okay, right, let's take a look. And uh, Nothing has been missed. That is where the barn is, so... Perfect. That is really good. Um, I'm not too sure if Chen has run out. Has he run out? It's not an issue if he has, because we still have 45%. There we go, the final strip. Let's hope I have enough just to finish off any missed bits. I don't think there's anything over here. I think the minimap was just struggling to update, but yeah, it looks good. It looks very good. Okay, so that is a very good example of using free fertilizer. Because not only do we get paid for selling the silage, but we also do get the byproduct, which is very good for our land. There we go. Yep, that is all done. Fold up and we'll take you back to the farm. We are running short on space. That's the only other issue. Um, yeah, we don't have many places to put them. We've already got most things stored outside. Ah. Now that's where he's put that one, near the slurry pit. Not a bad idea. I'll put mine in the same place. Now, once again, fin number 34 is ready to harvest. It seems to be always ready to harvest, but this time it is canola, which is good, because we don't have to do any baling. And, well, carting isn't so much of an issue either, because the combine takes long to fill up. So that's good. That is very good. I will just quickly jump into a into a lorry. We'll take that over there. Then at least there is something to unload into. Then we'll take the New Holland across. And we can hopefully get the whole thing done very quickly. Now with two harvesters, I think it only takes about 15 minutes maximum. 10 to 15 minutes to do that field. Which is surprisingly fast. Uh, yeah, we can go through the trees. It's not really an allocated route. But it works. There we go. I uh, don't want to be in the way. If he's doing the headlands, that shouldn't be in the way. This combine looks filthy. Before we attach it to the trailer, I'll definitely give it a wash. Even though it will get dirty again, it's uh, mm, very, very dirty. Yuck. It looks like we've been off-roading or mudding with a combine. Wait, there's some bales in the uh, in the washing area. Well, I suppose we have run out of shed space. Oh, it's looking much better. Oh, there was also uh, when I when I first got this combine back in episode one, some viewers requested me to have the other decal. So if we have a workshop here, we could get that swapped over. Do we have a workshop here? Just trying to think. I don't think we do. Well, it's not too difficult to go to the store. I've done this before. I've been looking in these sheds for a workshop and there isn't one. No, we'd have to uh, pay a mechanic to change the stickers for us. Probably a thousand pounds, but anyway. Um, they're, they're pretty big decals. So I'll do that. We'll get them swapped over. And when I say swapped over, I mean added, because there's currently nothing. I reckon this is the sticker place here. Here we go. Right. Yeah, it should look different. Oh, no. There we go. Right. Uh, Customise. Let's change it to... I think it was that one. I think it was the Tiger Edition. Yeah. Tiger Edition, £100. Oh, that's quite reasonable. It's not bad. So there we go. It's definitely different. Back for the header. And we'll get cracking. Right, I'm going to go down this road here, because otherwise 
the header trailer is going to be in the way. Just put it there. And we'll get the header attached. The only issue with this combine is this header is actually bigger than it should be, the recommended size for this machine. So the grain tank does tend to fill up fairly quickly. But as I've already mentioned, for canola it shouldn't really be a huge problem. With wheat or something like that, we'd only get about halfway around the field. I would hope to get all the way around with this. So we'll find out. I think I'll probably unload straight away just to make sure we've got everything out of it. And then we'll get a pretty good idea of how far we can get. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Everybody's jumping around. Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be. Going on stage headline on a Saturday night. Oh, 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 oh Saturday night. I quit my job Never wanna have no boss I just wanna play my rock and roll Like they do on the radio Tommy's got brand new drums And I still have my old guitar And John said this next song Okay, well we're getting on very well The main section is almost completed uh, That's close Oh, there was actually a touch there. Anyway, yes, it would be more efficient to have this combine going down here because the header isn't as big. And also the tank is smaller. So it's just going to leave that sort of triangular sh shape just down there. We do have two lorries on the go, as you've seen. Because actually, we're getting even more off this than I was expecting. Now, this is the end. This is the end of the field. We're just going to wait for this to get to the end and then chainsaw can obviously do the final piece. And then we'll really just have one trailer each to go and sell. This one is pretty much full. It's about 94% full, 93%. So I'm expecting some fairly impressive figures here. Okay, that's done. Good. Get out of the way as much as possible. And we'll check the prices for Canola. Norden. That's the place just over here, I think. No, that, that's Koren. Or Koren. Um, it's all the way up here. It's where the spinner is, where we took the uh, cotton to. The cotton modules. So that's actually quite a distance. What's the fastest way of getting there? Let's just see. I suppose. Straight up here. Yep. Okay, so we'll put this back in the yard first of all, then we'll sell. There we go. Right, that's the combine back in the yard. And this trailer is full. 79,000 litres. Wow, we're going to be making some serious money. Okay, well I'm looking for some fairly big figures. I actually don't know how full the other trailer is, but it's not full, I don't think. I'm fairly sure it isn't. Uh, so there he is, this chainsaw. Right, 178,000. That's very good. And the other trailer. 68,000. So we're now at 1.2 million, 1.283. Very good. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, 
see you again very soon. Bye for now.